Welcome to the update, Maith Gardner with you. In New South Wales, a clean-up is underway after severe storms lash parts of the state, leaving tens of thousands of homes without power. Paramedics had to treat several people for minor injuries in Sydney's inner suburbs. The Weather Bureau's Rosemary Barr says the storm brought strong winds. The highest gust that we received um, was that, that 57 knot or 106 kilometre per hour gust. Sydney Airport was the strongest gust that we recorded in the city itself and that was 50 knots, so just over 90 k's an hour. A drug scandal in the AFL. Collingwood's Jack Ginnivan has copped one strike of the league's illicit drugs policy after a contrite confession on Channel 7. He was reportedly secretly filmed using in a toilet cubicle in a pub in Victoria Surf Coast town Torquay. Utterly disappointed in myself. feel like I've let 44 of my best mates down the club. Hundred thousands of people. So, for me, I'm so remorseful. I'm so sorry for that. The 20-year-old has been suspended for four matches, being the pre-season games and the first two rounds of the AFL season. There was a heavy police presence at Saturday night's A-League derby between Melbourne Victory and Melbourne City that ensured there was no repeat of the ugly scenes that marred their last meeting in December. It was a relatively peaceful match. However, vision has emerged of a fan being dragged out of the stand at Amy Park while some angry spectators threw drinks at police. Today marks the 81st anniversary of the Darwin bombing in the Second World War. Over 240 Japanese aircraft attacked the city in 1942 that killed almost 250 people. And if you're a Twitter Blue subscriber, from next month the service will require users to give a two-factor authentication to confirm their login credentials. The security step will make it harder for hackers to access accounts. To Sport Now, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-858-858. In cricket, the Delhi test between Australia and India is evenly poised after two days. The home side were bowled out for 262. That's just one run shy of the Aussie first innings total. Nathan Lyon, the best of the bowlers with five wickets. Australia in its second innings on one for 61. Meantime, the Aussie girls girls have beaten host nation South Africa at the T20 World Cup. And in A-League, Melbourne Victory has beaten Melbourne City 3-2. Newcastle 1-0 winners over MacArthur FC. Sydney and Brisbane played out a one-all draw. And the Perth Glory in the Mariners game ending 2-all. And in entertainment news, Olivia Newton-John's final recording has been posthumously released. She teamed up with Dolly Parton to sing the US star's iconic hit Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. The two recorded the song shortly before Newton-John died of breast cancer last year. And we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Update.